listen. <laughs> I tried to tell y'all. I tried to tell y'all, but ain't nobody wanna fucking listen to me. Just like ain't nobody wanna listen to me six years ago. And now that it's happening again, I do not want to hear a word. Okay, do you hear me? I don't want to hear shit when that lady get up on the mic and start screaming. Okay, when she start throwing subs and songs. Okay, and not even subs when she start throwing shots. I don't want to hear a thing because I tried to tell y'all. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I'm gonna tell you the girls come on, you can eat it up. Ain't no need to it so you can be all in these girls. I ain't explaining shit to niggas. That's ridiculous. How you left for one to get mad when they finish up? Let's get into it then. Wait, 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 wait. Now I love y'all and I love doing YouTube, but y'all know YouTube be on that bullshit and right now it's quite literally the motherfucking ghetto. And listen, if you know me from way back when, then you know it's two things about your girl. Number one, I hate, hate being anybody's best kept secret. And number two, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sky no motherfucking sense, ho. So with that said, the best way to help me help you and keep the fun going is to join the Patreon, baby. Now I know I've struggled with consistency and whatnot in the past. I get it. 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 But listen, baby, when I create a fun is impacted, then that makes it hard for me to do the content that y'all love, whether that be story times, commentary, hell, even my motherfucking music. Like it makes it extremely hard to do. So I'm telling y'all now, if you're only experiencing me through this platform, which is YouTube, then baby, you are only getting half of the tea. So head on over to Patreon to get the full Sky Santana experience. And also, because a lot of people have been asking me like, oh, Sky, when you bringing your story times back? Oh, what happened to the laptop? What happened to those videos like from 2016? That channel that I have that I was doing story times on, that channel from 2016 is no longer. But here's the good thing about Patreon. So now it's 2023. I'm older. I'm 30 years old. <laughs> well, a whole different agenda now. But listen, how cool and exciting and fun would it be if I went back and I retold some of the old stories that you guys knew and loved from me, but from a grown and older, grown and sexy 30 year old mature perspective. Like how, how dope would that be? So make sure that y'all go down to the description box. You click on the link to get to my Patreon and y'all motherfucking subscribe, ho. Definitely make sure that y'all follow me on Twitter. Okay. Because I swear I be over there talking to myself. Like I be live reacting and live tweeting in real time to the fuck shit that y'all be putting on Beyonce's internet. So definitely make sure that you follow me on Twitter so you can keep up with the engagement and what snots and definitely make sure that you stream my music too. Okay. Because I talk shit, but I also write hits. Okay. So don't be dumb bitch. Cause you ain't dumb. Bitch, come back to the video. What's going on, y'all? It's Scott Santana, aka Chat 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 Chi Chi. And we are back for another motherfucking dreadful ass video because I told y'all bitches, and I'm gonna keep telling y'all bitches. Y'all not listening, y'all not paying attention, all the fuck shit that's going down on Blue Ivy's internet right now, and y'all are not paying attention. Matter of fact, y'all see, y'all just don't give a fuck. That's what it is. Y'all see, y'all just don't give a fuck, because y'all don't care. What the fuck am I talking about? Listen. So a couple of weeks ago, probably about a month ago at this point, I did a video where I was talking about Lotto throwing shots at Nikki. She premiered a new song at Coachella called Put It On The Floor. And even then, I was like, okay, it might be cute. It might be a little bop. And I gave, like, the whole little rundown history of how I used to be a Lotto fan and da 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 We're not going to do all of that now. Bitch, go watch the old video. But, yes, I used to be a Lotto fan. But then when she got into the whole shit with Nikki, it was like, okay, hold up. The whole super freaky grandma shit was a little too fucking much. And it made me start looking at Scratch Off a little bit differently. And so when she's premiering the song... All the blocks, all the fucking blocks. Matter of fact, because I feel like there's gonna be somebody that's in the back of the bus. Let me let me just go ahead and let me just go ahead and bring that up right now. But when she premiered this song at Coachella, all of the blocks were specifically promoting this song as being 
the diss record to Nikki. It was a no, oh, this is Lotto's new song. Oh, Lotto's new song of the summer. Like, it was it was none of that. It was it was given none of that. It was not given, oh, this is about to be a top 10 radio smash. Oh, my God, Billboard number one. No, it was doubted. Not doubted. That's not even a fucking word. It was put out there as, okay, this is about to be the song where she's coming after Nikki because of certain lyrics that were emphasized. Like, oh, I don't know who she was talking to. She ain't take her meds or whatever the fuck the bitch is saying. But the point is, is that when this song was announced, okay, when she performed it at Coachella, it was put out there as this being like the official diss track to Nicki Minaj. And now I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find an article from back then. Um, do I like do I have to change the date back to April? Because I I know I'm not stupid. I would not have done a video. I would not have done a video. Okay, I would not have done a video. Cause now all it's like it, it's like once they come out with like a new news feed topic or whatever, it pushes down all the old shit. So it kind of makes it hard to search. But like if you know, you motherfucking know. Just go back to the old video that I did. Cause the proof is in the put in there. The proof is in the put in there. The proof is in the last video that I did. I brought up the actual article, right? One of the actual articles from an actual official publication. But like I keep saying, it was being promoted as, oh, this is a diss to Nikki. Now Lotto never said that because she's not, she ain't that dumb. <laughs> like she, she ain't she ain't that dumb. Okay, but like it was very much obvious with the lyrics and given everything that happened, and yada yada yada. And I said then, I said, oh. This is you taking a stand. Like, you you, you really trying to go to war. And what I thought was going to be like a little one-off, like, okay, she she got her feelings off in the song. Okay, that's cute or whatever. Like, you know, Nicki might throw us up back in a song and it's going to be lethal. Okay, like, I thought that was going to be the end of it. Nowhere did I think that this was going <laughs> to try to spiral into becoming like a Bodak Yellow part two type of moment. Because... That is what is very much given because I'm noticing that. Okay, first of all, Lotto put the song out, thought it was cute. I was jamming to it. Um, listen, let's keep it a buck. Right now, we ain't really got that much music to really even talk about. Okay, who got the song of the summer? Right now, it's honestly between this song and at, well, not because I don't want to say that this would be the song of the summer. I mean, because it's so lukewarm, it's catchy enough to where you like. If it's on, you're not going to, like, leave or go for a bathroom break at the club. Like, it's catchy enough. It's catchy enough for a walk. It's catchy enough, like, if you're on a subway train or whatever. But, like, ain't nobody just going to the club. Like, yo, put on that. Put on it on the floor. Put on that brand new lot of, Like, ain't nobody doing that shit. Ain't nobody doing that shit. Like, I said that then. I felt that then. I tweeted that then. So, all of this attention that's on it now, where is this coming from? Because it's feeling very calculated, right? It's feeling very calculated okay and so after the song came out okay like i said people were like okay this is cute it's a cute little bop whatever but wasn't nobody wasn't nobody at least not no regular regular folk talking about the song then out of nowhere the song starts going viral on tiktok because all it takes is one person to do something somebody else finds it cute and then everybody jumps on it like that's part of the tiktok culture that is the trend of tiktok right you find something that you like you're like oh let me do that let me hop on that let me get some numbers let me get some viral fame right so it's less about her goddamn song and more about the action of what people were doing because lotto starts the song off saying rip me out the plastic i've been acting brand new which honestly Upon first listen, I was like, ooh, 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 ooh. But then really sitting with it, it's like, it's not that it's a corny line. It's just that it's been done a thousand times before, right? So when I see the, the, the trend going viral on TikTok, I'm rolling my eyes because I'm like, well, part of TikTok's magic is to take corny shit and make it like that's just what TikTok is. It's corny shit that trends, right? And I'm a corny type of person. I have a corny sense of humor, right? Because I already don't like this girl because of, the, you know, everything that's going on. I'm looking at it and I'm rolling my motherfucking eyes. But I'm thinking no more of it, right? I'm thinking, okay, it's prom season, da 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 and that's really how the song started snowballing, right? That's really where the song started picking up momentum was because you had everybody revealing their prom dresses, revealing their prom suits, and then they was coming out to this song. Cool. Cool. I'm like, okay, this is something that's organically catching on simply because of the lyrics, not because it's a hot song, not because it's the song of the summer, but because of that one line right there, right? And again, it's a cute song, but 
when I say it's not a hot song, what I'm saying is the magnitude into which people are trying to make it now. So then, watching it go viral, watching everybody, you know, with their prom shit or whatever, then I'm now starting to notice, okay, celebrities that are now posting a goddamn song. And again, it's taking me back to Bodak Yellow Days because I was there when Cardi did Forever. I was there when Cardi did Stripper Ho. I was there when Cardi released Gangsta Bitch Volume Music 1 and Music Volume 2. I was there. I was in the clubs, on stage, rapping forever and watching the club, like, act up to her music. And I knew how organic it was then and how people fuck with the music then. But hearing Bodak Yellow and seeing the wave of Bodak Yellow and seeing the wave of celebrities that push that song with intent... Just like I felt something was off then, I feel the same way now. Because I'm looking on my Instagram feed, I'm looking on Twitter, and I'm noticing all of the different people that's posting this song and talking about how fire it is. And it just so happens that it's all people that Nicki Minaj has fallen out with. Two of which is Cardi B that talked about it, Meek Mill talked about it, and I feel like it was a couple of other people. Matter of fact, I know it was a couple of other people. Can't think of it off the top of my head right now. Matter of fact, thank God for Twitter. Thank, are you following me on Twitter? Are you following me on Twitter? But thank God for motherfucking Twitter because I all, always tweet out my motherfucking thoughts. So I'm sure I probably tweeted about it. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. How do you even spell ops? Okay, let's see. O P P S. Okay. Yeah, okay, so on May 31st, I said Nikki's Ops all run into remix and promote that little girl song. How does no one find that weird? And then when it's World War Three, everyone will talk about how she's too old, like y'all don't see these niggas all provoking and poking the bear right now. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When Meek Mill wanted to all of a sudden do a remix of the song, I thought that shit was weird. Whoever else that I cannot remember right now, I thought it was weird then too. And then as soon as I heard that Cardi B was going to jump on the track, I was like, okay. This is getting a little too out of hand. Now, mind you, I'm somebody who yes, I grew up in the time of Nikki. And yes, I was more of a Nikki fan than I was a little Kim fan. Like, I understand everything that Nikki has done. Best rapper all time, older that, whatever. Yes, she has a fall, so da 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 Cool. But I'm also a Cardi fan as well. Cardi Stan, actually. I love both of them. I'm not the type to put them against each other, but at the end of the day, I mean, we're talking about the queen and the princess of rap. <laughs> that didn't even sound believable. We're well, talking about the queen of rap <laughs> and then the princess of like hip hop. Like that that sounds a little bit better. That sounds a little bit better, right? Once you get over Cardi's initial come up and how inorganic it was and authentic it was and how programmed and machined oiled up it was and kind of just appreciate Cardi for what she serves, then you're like, okay. Because I'm not going to lie, when I hear a Cardi verse, when I hear a Cardi song, I'm like, yes, and I play it nonstop. I'm thinking for another fucking Cardi album right now, okay? Her first album, her only album that we've had, bop the bop, the bop, bop after bop after bop. You can't deny that the girl makes hits. Whether, she, whether or not she writes it herself, the girl got hits. So when I'm speaking on shit like this, it's not that a, that it's like a, oh, Cardi versus Nicki. Uh, that, but that's what it appears to be. Because what, what else is it when... This girl clearly has a diss track, and now all of a sudden, it's everybody's favorite song. Now, all of a sudden, it's everybody's favorite song. Like, TikTok, okay, I can understand TikTok and then going viral for a cute little mama or whatever. But now, everybody and their mama are like, oh, my God, this song. Is da, da, da. And it's it's not same and organic. Like, Meek Mill is one thing. Okay. Then, God, it's not organic. It's not. You rush in to jump on this girl's song. And then the video comes out, and it's loop fucking warm. They looked amazing. But it's Luke fucking warm, and it looked and sounded like two ops meeting up to try and come after a common enemy. That's what it looked like. That's what it felt like. And the whole song, put it on the floor again, it felt like they were trying to create the, the magic of Tomorrow 2, which they was never going to be able to do because, one, when she created Tomorrow... I See, I was about to go and defend Cardi and be like, make, like Nikki wasn't even a thought... Like, who knows if she was? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But it put it on the floor again. Again, it sounds like a song that was purposely 
crafted to come after Nikki and come after Spice. And then when you start thinking about that, and then you start seeing shit on Twitter like this right here, let me go ahead and bring it the fuck up. Right? Because people still not putting two and two together. But somebody said, it's crazy what the world let old girl get away with. If you don't think this is shady, you are choosing to be blind. Shaking my head. Ice Spice been respectful and neutral. Mind you, this is clearly Ice Spice, and this is clearly, clearly a drawing of what is supposed to be Annie. What is supposed to be Annie. And I guess this is supposed to be like the Summer Jam concert or some shit like that. And um, don't, don't fucking quote me, but I feel like Ice Spice and Cardi just did Summer Jam together last week. I feel like they did. And I feel like that was her performance from then. Don't quote me. Don't quote me. But it's little things like that because I know a lot of people are trying to say, okay, well, Cardi was on Glorilla song tomorrow too. And oh, that's where the any references come from. First of all, shut the fuck up. Because even then I was I wasn't getting it, which I was trying to do. It's like y'all are determined to make Glorilla a star, and she's y'all are determined to try and make that. I will never forget the way that y'all look. The girl had been out since May. By October, not even like five months later, she was already. Nominated for a Grammy. You see how y'all play in people's face? Then when your fave don't win, it's Grammys don't matter. But then when it's somebody who's a, a, a op to your fave, then it's on oh, numbers and yeah, awards, accolades. You see how y'all play though? Glorilla came out in May and was, Gram was Grammy nominated by... Came out in May. Grammy nominated by October. Make it fucking make sense. Because it don't. It don't. And even then, y'all try to say, oh, tomorrow too is supposed to be like a like a no to end. I never got it then, and I still don't get it now. I still don't get it now. And now, all of a sudden, we get in stick figures and drawings when they happen to so happen be performing at the same venue. And even if they wasn't at the same venue, just the fact that they linked up, okay? Like, because it's almost like, like this, how is this shit not weird to y'all, y'all? Like, how is this shit not weird? It's like, cause for years, y'all have said that Nikki does not respect female rappers. No, Nikki doesn't respect female rappers who don't respect her. Then y'all try to say, oh, she don't respect people who don't kiss her ass. And it's just like, is it people who don't kiss her ass or is it people who only kiss her ass because they find her beneficial in a moment and they want something? Let's make it make fucking sense. Let's make it fucking make sense. Because every person, every person has proved to be some sort of opportunist. Every last person has proved to be some sort of opportunist. Okay? And then by the time we try to relate it back to Nikki, and by the time, like, the truth fucking comes out, then it's like, why y'all still talking about that? You too old, grow up. Oh, she need to be more mature. No, 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 baby. No, 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 no. The truth is out. Let's let's go back to the lies that y'all were spreading. Let's go back to the rumors that y'all were spreading. Now that the truth is out, don't don't say, oh, you still hung up on that. Yes, yes the fuck I am. Yes, the fuck Nikki is. Because these are the same lies and rumors that y'all have used to try and destroy her credibility. So, yes, the fuck she is. Because the truth always comes out. It always comes out. It always comes out. And so it's like people have said, oh, Nikki doesn't collaborate with people. But yet you see her on this run where she's labbing with multiple different female artists. And we don't have to get into it. You know, the Bias, the, the Akbar, is, you know, the JT. Like she's collab with all of these people and then now all of a sudden out of nowhere it's like now everybody and their mama trying to collab with Cardi or now Cardi is collabing with everybody and their mama now all of a sudden it's like we got the Nikki and the and the Ice Spice on the Princess Diana remix and then now all of a sudden we got the Cardi and Lotto on put it on the floor like you cannot tell me even if it's not the girls themselves and it's the labels putting them we're not going to act like we're not going to act like we don't see what the fuck is going on. We like we're not going to continue to do this. We're not going to continue to do this. We're not. We're not. Y'all did this shit in 2017. Y'all played the same game in 2017, and then in 2018, we're not doing it again. Just like, oh my god, it, it really is like history repeating itself. It really is like history repeating itself. Because if you think back to 2017, and you think back to that whole time era and that Queen era, did it? 
Remy Ma win an award just because they didn't want to give it to Nikki? Didn't, didn't she win an award just because they didn't want to give it to Nikki? And she had no fucking music out other than Sheether, and they gave her the fucking award, right? Wasn't Nicki Minaj nominated for a Grammy, but then Glorilla just went like... Y'all can act like y'all don't see it, but I'm going to call it out every time. I'm going to call it out every time. And I don't know. I don't know. If you're not familiar with the whole Lotto and Ice Spice beef, then you need to catch up. You need to catch up because that whole put it on the floor again, that was like a, a double two-sided diss beef against Nicki and Ice Spice because Lotto is mad that Ice Spice is her complexion and came out and benefited from the colorism that she has yet to benefit from and just took off running. Okay, the same amount of privilege and the same amount of accolades and star power and all of that that Ice Spice has now. Lotto is mad that she's been out this long and has not been granted all of that. Because when Ice Spice was on a rise, Lotto was in her DMs like, yes, sis, and singing her songs, but then want to get on a red carpet and act like she don't know her song. And that's where all the beef and all the shade started between the two. And then now, here we got it. Here we are. I'm sorry. I don't know. Let's get into the comments real quick before I just... <sighs> Let's get into the motherfucking comments because I, I swear y'all acting oblivious. For the ones confused, uh, Cardi B headlined Summer Jam and she only had one translation of the night. She decided to sing Tomorrow from Annie. Mind you, all her fans call Ice Spice Raggedy Ant or Orphan Annie. If Nikki did something like this, every media outlet will be covering it. And y'all, listen, y'all can, y'all cannot say, y'all can, like, all Nikki said was, you still ugly from all of that surgery or all that surgery made you ugly. And people are still saying she was talking about Cardi B when she never mentioned a name. She never mentioned a motherfucking name, and yet people are still assuming that she was talking about Cardi. There's a lot of these goddamn girls who <laughs> look completely different. Like, okay, we can put a bunch of their names in a hat and then reply to anyone that we pick out. Please. Like, it, it just be the double standards for me. It be the double standards for me. And again, it's not even like I'm a, uh, like, a. Uh, Cause I'm definitely a Barb and I'm definitely a whatever Cardi fans call themselves. Like I listen, I stand both girls, but it's not even like to the point where it is for like a lot of these Barbs where they start harassing people and wanting to fight people in person. And it, you know, all the wild shit that the sand culture that like, it's, it's not even all of that, but then y'all make people want to get to that point when y'all sit and y'all act delusional and dumb and act like y'all don't understand what the fuck is going on right in front of your goddamn eyes. I can't stand that shit. Like, it's literally the definition of gaslighting. Gaslighting. As much as people love to use these big-ass words and, and gaslighting and narcissism and all of this shit in 2023, now that it's happening right in front of your fucking face, y'all don't see people gaslighting Nikki. Y'all don't see people poking the fucking bear. And now it's not just Nikki. Now it's Ice, too, because Ice is attached to Nikki. It's weird. It's so fucking weird it's weird it's so weird okay um some are still confused since when did annie twerk it was shady to have this during a transition at summer jam which isn't being received well by the general public now she hot on her hand thought she was miss dangerous like you cannot t that's not ice spice that's not ice spice that's not ice spice that's not Ice Spice. So that's Annie. That's Annie. Okay. Okay. Because now we want to believe that. that okay. 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 Because y'all the same motherfuckers who still sitting here saying that people that's looking at the little milk, the little mermaid as more than a cartoon, I think it's too deep. And no, I'm not talking about the ones that's like, oh, we got a black Ariel. No, y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. Got the same motherfuckers that are looking at motherfuckers that's like, no, shout out to Hallie, but I don't really want to support the Lil' Murray because of what it really stands for. Y'all looking at them is weird. But yet, okay. 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 Let's see what the comments are saying about that particular post. Wow. Why would... 
Why would she be making fun of Ice Spice when she's cool with her? You just be saying anything. Okay. Get over it, bro. No one cares. Is Cardi everything is a twerk? Why would Annie not twerk in this generation? Lucille Ball would twerk. You see how y'all just jump over the... <laughs> y'all just be... Okay. Okay, girl. Okay. Okay. Because since when does Cardi twerk? Hello, since when does Annie twerk? I'm confused what happened. Cardi had... Okay. Her visuals, the shady world we live in. She's switching up any pluses, more people normalizing than those who can't. Okay, did I just even say anything that would warrant such a response from Cardi? Just say you th okay, wait, 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 wait. Because let's go back to this right here. Let's go, let's go back to this right here. Let's go back to this right here, right? Let me put that back on screen. Because somebody is asking, like, okay, did Ice even say anything that would warrant a response? Did Ice even say anything that would warrant a response from Cardi? I want y'all dumbasses to stop doing shit like that because y'all act like we are privy to every single motherfucking conversation that these bitches be having. I know that we now live in a very social media driven world where everybody gets emotionally driven, emotionally riled up and, ooh, let's tweet out all our thoughts and put everything on Twitter. But people still have kitchen table talk. People still talk shit to their friends and words get around like a game of telephone. Like, shit still happens in real fucking life. Like, Y'all bitches out here fighting for less because you heard a bitch that was talking about you. A bitch, you heard a bitch slept with your man. Be fucking for real. Be fucking for real. We don't need to be privy to every goddamn conversation to see and know the whole backstory as to, ooh, why this person did that and why that person might not like. At the end of the day, it's shade. It's smoke. And when it's smoke, there's fire. It's literally that motherfucking simple. But that's why I'm going to go ahead and motherfucking end it. Because literally, we could sit here and, and drag this out all day. But I'm going to just keep saying, like, I've been saying from the beginning, when the beast wakes up. When the beast wakes up, okay? When the beast fucking wakes up and that lady start yelling on that microphone again. I don't want to hear shit. I don't want to hear shit. And I hope and pray. Ooh. I hope and pray. This new album, ooh. I hope it got something to do with Roman. Because she already done announced an album date. Which kudos to her for not feeding into this drama and announcing an album date. But then I take the kudos back because the bitch is lying. That album ain't come out October 20th. It is not. Nikki's a fucking liar. What the fuck is a documentary, bitch? Like, girl, I believe it when I see it. Okay. I believe it when I hear it. I believe it when I hear it and believe it when I see it. That shit ain't coming. But kudos to her for playing it off. And, okay. But like I said, when she starts to awaken, I don't want to hear shit. I don't want to hit shit because since when now all of a sudden like everybody is in love with put put it on the floor. Someone get a summer like get the fuck out of here. Someone get a summer is act bad with Diddy and the City Girls. Y'all not going to like y'all not going to play in my face like this. Y'all not. Okay. Y'all not. Okay. So listen this is what we, we, we about to fucking end it. If I ain't say it then it wasn't motherfucking said but in, in Lotto's case bitch it was implied. Okay, if I didn't say it, then it wasn't said. But in this case of Lotto and Cardi throwing shade, bitch, even if I ain't say it, it was implied. Okay, I don't even know what else to fucking say. Okay, but definitely let me know what you got to say down in the comment box below. Okay, and I'm gonna check it out as if I, okay, and make sure that you go and stream my music as if you give a fuck. All right, I love each and every one of y'all, HD. Well, bye. Oh, and check out the motherfucking Patreon. Join the Patreon. Oh, and join the mailing list. Baby, we don't.